So before we jump into this video, I want to quickly shout out my two newest subscribers. I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. To all my old subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let's dive into this video. Road to 20k. Let's get. What's going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm going to show you how to take an eight bar loop and turn it into a full beat like this. You might have seen the video where I created this beat. Since then, I've put it up on my website. I've put it on the Instagram and it's been getting some good feedback. I've bounced down the drums and made them all audio files. And all I've done is just gone into a new session and just created that eight bar loop. But I want to show you how you can take an eight bar loop and make that into a full beat. Let's jump in. Got this eight bar loop there. So I'm gonna grab that, make that 16 bars. We want an intro. So I'm gonna take out some of the drums, maybe the kicks, that first piano. Definitely gonna take out the 808s as well. So the voxes, we can take that out as well. And we could even start Okay, let's see. We can bring the drums in, the kick drum in a bit earlier. And those open hats. So then we've got everything coming in on the ninth bar. So that could be your hook. So we've got a 16 bar hook, is it? Yep, 16 bar hook. And the pianos have dropped an octave or they should have. Yeah. So I just duplicated the hook for the verse. So we can do like a, you can do an eight bar hook or a 16 bar hook and tie it up to, I think for this one, so it doesn't seem too repetitive. We go for an eight bar hook and then we bring in a 16 bar verse. But for the verse, we're gonna, we're gonna strip it back because we want it to be, you want the hook to have more impact than the verse. So I think we'll just take out these sounds here. wanted to we can make it even more different and change the piano sound so that it drops I don't know make it a bit quieter maybe add something different on it if that doesn't work we can go back to the high notes duplicate that hook again highlight all the hook drop it in after the 16 bars of the verse then you've got two hooks and then you can just duplicate that verse again that way you've got two verses you can add some variation if you want to like take out some of the drums and whatever you want then sometimes i like to have like a little break just after that verse or sometimes after the hook i think what i'll do in this one is bring the hook back in again after that verse because it's only an eight eight bar hook and then we have like a little break after that hook, eight bars, four bars, and then back into the hook and outro. So for the break, we can treat it kind of the same as the, uh, the intro. So we can just strip it back, maybe take out the 808s. You could introduce a new sound there if you want to. We could go with the high piano. So we just duplicate that and then back in with the hook again and outro that's only two and a half minutes but that's for some rappers depending on the type of beat 
that can work. If you want to make it longer, I would say have a 16 bar hook. That's how you can quickly turn the eight bar loop into a full beat. Yeah, I like that. So you can structure it however you want to structure it. You can ask the rapper how they want the beat structured or structured, or you can just structure it how you how you want to, and then let the, the artist know how you structured it. So that was just a quick example of how you can just quickly take an eight bar loop and make it into a full beat. Hope it's helped. If it has, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram as well because I'm always dropping little tips and tricks that I don't always get to put on YouTube. As per usual, I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Peace.